The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, Cleveland Indians vs. Toronto Blue Jays, Baltimore Orioles vs. New York Yankees and Philadelphia Phillies vs. Washington Nationals, which are happening on Monday, August 2, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. The Cleveland Indians have managed to stay above .500, despite a long list of injuries, but it's clear that the franchise is more focused on their future as the newly renamed Cleveland Guardians than they are on this season. The Indians have lost 14 of their last 20 games against winning ball clubs and will be going against a confident Toronto team that has won its last five home games against a team with a losing road record. Toronto has a huge offensive advantage in this contest, along with on the mound behind Robbie Ray. The Cleveland Indians are struggling offensively this season as they are currently 22nd in the majors with a .698 ops. They have been hitting well in the last five games as they are scoring 5.2 runs per game in that stretch and have the sixth highest ops in the seven-day stretch. Cleveland has been scoring runs at a decent clip throughout the month of July as they were averaging 4.29 runs per game during July, so this team still has the potential to score some runs despite trading away some offensive pieces. They have been led offensively by third baseman Jose Ramirez this season, as he is posting in .862 ops with 22 home runs and 62 RBI so far. If the Indians can continue to hit and score some runs, they will be able to win a lot of games in the future. The Toronto Blue Jays defeated the Kansas City Royals 4-0 on Saturday for their third straight win. George Springer belted two home runs in the victory and now has 11 home runs in just 34 games this season. After Saturday's win, the Blue Jays are 53-48 on the season, fourth in the AL East, but just 3.5 games behind the Oakland A's for the second wild card spot. The Blue Jays' powerful lineup has led the way, as collectively they are first with a .458 slugging percentage and 157 home runs while ranking second, scoring 5.2 runs per game. Leading Toronto is MVP candidate Vladimir Guerrero Jr. with a .327 AVG, 33 home runs, and 83 RBI. Monday Toronto is scheduled to start 29-year-old Southpaw Avi Ray, who is 9-5 with a 3.04 ERA. Ray picked up a win against the Red Sox on Wednesday, allowing one earned run over six innings during a seven-inning doubleheader game. My betting advice for that game is to pick Toronto Blue Jays minus 1.5. The Orioles have been very competitive recently and have won six out of their last nine clashes overall. The Yankees are starting Andrew Heaney who was acquired from the Angels. The right-hander is having a poor season as seen in his terrible 5.27 ERA. He has struggled in his career against the Orioles as well, giving up 10 runs in 16.2 career innings. Furthermore, the Yankees are not scoring many runs, even with Gallo and Rizzo in the lineup. Baltimore has had a few good series this year, where they've beaten the likes of Houston, Boston, and Seattle but those wins have been few and far between. They played decently over the weekend, however, splitting their four-game series with Detroit, but now they face a hot Yankees team. The problem with the O's is that they're simply too far behind now to really make any noise or be motivated for a playoff push. At 37-67 overall, Baltimore is 26 games behind first place Tampa Bay in the East and 21.5 games behind the final Al Wild card. Aaron Boone will have Andrew Heaney make his Yankees debut to open the series. Heaney was acquired from the Angels at the trade deadline and conceded three runs including one HR in six innings against the Rockies in his latest start. The veteran right-hander is not having a good season, posting a 5.27 ERA and a 1.31 whip accompanied by a 6-7 record in 94 innings pitched. He has struggled in his three career meetings against Baltimore, yielding a 5.40 ERA in 16.2 innings. 
The Bronx Bombers continue to shine, winning five out of their last six bouts overall including a big series win against a Rays squad they often struggle to beat. My betting advice for that game is to pick Baltimore Orioles plus 1.5. Suarez was more of a two-pitch pitcher out of the bullpen, but he will need more than that to survive as an MLB starter. Part of the reason for his success this season is that he's ditched his slider, throwing it only 6% of the time, after dishing it out 20.2% of the time in 2020. The Phillies lefty has also benefited from a .188 BABIP, an 85.8% strand rate this season, which is likely to trend back towards his career average over the second half. The Phillies would be a lot better this season if they could figure out how to keep runs off the score sheet. They are scoring a respectable 4.5 runs per game, but are having trouble on the defensive end allowing 4.8 runs per game. They are a top 10 team in runs, scored but need to focus on the defensive end of things. A major issue is the pitching staff allowing too many hits. They have some games to fix this, but will need to move fast. They will be trusting Ranger Suarez to get this new streak started for them. The Nationals are expected to counter with rookie right-hander Josiah Gray for his second career MLB start. The 23-year-old hasn't recorded a decision yet, but he owns a 6.75 ERA in his first big league games. Gray flashed his potential in his first career start against the Rockies. He fanned six batters in just four innings of work, but he also gave up two runs and four walks on the night. Recently acquired from the LA Dodgers, the Nationals' top overall prospect is an ultra-athletic right-hander with three quality pitches and a funky delivery. While he developed a penchant for pounding the zone in the minor leagues, Gray walked 5.63 batters per nine innings of work in his first two games with the LA Dodgers, nearly double his career high rate in the minor leagues. However, he also fanned batters at an elite 37.1% of the batters that he's faced. Gray struck out 12.64 batters and walked just 1.15 batters per nine innings of work at the AAA level, so look for his peripherals to improve as he gets more comfortable in the big leagues. Suarez has a 5-3 record this season with an amazing 1.12 ERA this season and 40.1 IP. He has been one of the bright spots on this struggling pitching staff this season for the Phillies. Now facing off against a very different national squad, Suarez has a great opportunity to get another win for the Phillies. The Nationals have traded their star ace in Scherzer and their star bat in Tree Turner officially starting their rebuild. It is a new era for the Nationals, and this season is a write-off for the team. They are simply looking for development and some fresh new talent to join the squad for the future. This season, the Nationals are scoring 4.4 runs per game and allowing 4.6 runs per game. These will drastically change with a rebuild beginning. My betting advice for that game is to pick Washington Nationals. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.